Hello and welcome to a rather wet and very, very wild Norris ring here in Germany for the latest round of TCR Europe. Unlike what we've seen so far this season, it is not scorching warm today, but there is plenty of this. The wet stuff drop in, which has made free practice one and free practice two a little bit obsolete as we're expecting good weather over the course of the remainder of the weekend. But it's been the first opportunity for our drivers, our teams and the TCR cars to head out on this two kilometre long German street circuit. Very first time, in fact, for over 25 years that a touring car series outside of the DTM has made its way over. In fact, look, he's a man I want to talk to, Jacko. Hello, how's it gone? Norris ring, man. What's it like? It's amazing, it's amazing. We just finished the free practice one uh, with uh, dryer a uh, little bit uh, without and uh, cool sensation. Very, very cool. cool. Tell me then, a TCR touring car, walls so close, no room for mistakes. That's got to be a great it's feeling, perfect for man. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for me. I can try to improve uh, to don't uh, get a mistake. No, it's... Uh, we need more concentration uh, and I think uh, it's a perfect uh, track to learn uh, and improve myself uh, to grow up uh, in, uh, in this category. So I'm going to put you on the spot now. How many safety cars do you think we're going to have in race one? How oh, many need uh, to permit to go out in the front position? <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. best of luck. Catch you soon. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice obviously Jack and Morgan, Mandy, our Diamond Trophy. Michelle, actually. Michelle Halder. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very good. Racing at home. What's this feel like? Yeah, really good. Really good that we are back in Germany, but it's my first time here to drive, so really looking forward to it. Just spoken to Giacomo about, obviously, this is a street circuit. No room for error. What's it like taking a TCR car around here? Uh, it's really good to drive a street, street track. Um, yeah, I think we have a really great race ahead, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it to watch. And of course, we, we as a driver too. Brilliant. Thanks, Michelle. Best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Bye bye. So Michelle Halder, Halder Competition, Michelle and Mike are uh, racing on home soil and Jack was very fast as well, Jack Young, in the first practice session. Of course, like I say, it's wet weather, doesn't really mean a great deal in terms of qualifying the race, but still, it's a good opportunity for the drivers to get a sight uh, on the circuit and understand what it's all about. RC2 junior team back with us again, which is great to see, down to two cars for Fernandez and Lopez this weekend, but Fernandez has had himself a very busy and unfortunate day's work, so a lot of damage on the Audi. And if you tuned in to was at Spa Frank has shown you to see this car was in some strife as well there. So uh, unfortunately the Audi looking distinctly second hand, but I'm sure they'll get everything up and running again as uh, the rest of the weekend. What happened there was contact with Isidro Callejas that won last time out. So uh, Fernandez Callejas coming to blows in pre-practice, which is not ideal. I'm sure we'll talk to them both a little later on. Great to see uh, as well Marco Bute back in action again in the elite motorsport by Contiu Racing. So young Marco continuing his TCR adventure. And look, this is the uh, this is the Isidro Callejas car that was the other participant in the contact with Fernandez. So again, the Volcano Motorsport team got a lot of work to do to get that one back in uh, ship shape condition again, ready for free practice too. Callejas spoke to him this morning, very, very uh, fired up for a good weekend here at Norris Ring. Feels confident emboldened after taking uh, race victories, first race victory at Spa Frankenstein, becoming the youngest winner in TCR Europe history as well. So uh, Kayas fired up for a good result. And somebody I do want to talk to, he's deep in conversation with his team. Uh, and he's probably spotted me and he's going to run away now, but it's Pepe Oriola. Last time we spoke to Pepe, he was in brutal fish colours in the Honda. And now let's take a look. A new car, new colours and a new team. Aggressive team Italia, so it's great to see Pepe uh, back out on the racetrack once again. And it's going to be absolutely fascinating to see how he gets on in the Hyundai Elantra, having spent quite a bit of time in the Honda Civic. There is uh, Oriola talking to his team, so I'm not sure whether I should interrupt him or not. I'm going to hang around and see if he takes pity on me, and we'll have a quick chat to see how he's gone. This is the first time he's driven this car, full stop. First time in the Hyundai Elantra. So uh, a baptism of fire, so to speak, 
for Pepe Oriola. But it's because using all this experience, the team are using this experience as well. We know them from TCR Italy, and they're preparing for a full-scale assault on TCR Europe in 2023. So this is a great introduction to the championship. And you can see they've got a very well-sorted tent area gazebo it's a very professional looking team and uh, they're taking this very very seriously let's have a, a quick chat see if we can catch pepe in a moment but plenty of sponsors good looking car very hungry team wanting to do good things and it's a good opportunity for pepe as well he's still very much in the sharp end of the championship a couple of podiums this year so maybe a new car a new environment can kickstart that campaign and we can see uh, good things from the Spanish driver and good things from aggressive team Italia as well very very nice looking car but of course as I say baptism of fire for Ariola because he's uh, he's got a lot of work to do in fact here's two of the target chaps Felice and Nicola yo 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 hello hello Felice quick word mate oh, sorry. oh oh look what's he having what you got what's in your sandwich what, what are you eating what are you eating some German food yeah yeah that's, oh uh, mate, that's not healthy racing driver food. Mm, I, I had no breakfast. Though. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be really quick then. Norris Ring, how's it feel? What's it like? What's uh, it like to be my, here? Uh, really nice. My first experience in a street track, so I enjoyed it. Uh, the conditions were quite difficult for everyone because we put slicks in the end, we drain on the rear. Uh, it was really funny. And also, uh, I think we were also quite quick, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's only the first session of the weekend. We have to improve, understand the track, everything. Yeah, nice. 21 cars going down into the hairpin of the race. That's going to be mental. Surely you need to get as far up the front of the grid as you can. Oh, of course, as always. <laughs> <laughs> Here, as in Monza, as in uh, all the other tracks. Oh, I don't want to think about this, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy that glorious food. Ciao, ciao. So, Felice, part of the target competition cars. And just quickly before we sign off, because it's uh, it is quite damp. Probably not picked up on the camera, but this is the Hyundai Elantra team of Yannick Motorsport Hyundai. These guys and girls had a sensational race at Spa Francorchamps. One, two in the second race with the Yakin Galash taking his first race victory. Another one, the next generation of drivers. They're going to be a big noise in touring cars. So uh, we'll catch up with them a little bit later on. And there we go. It's very compact here at Norris Rink. It's a street circuit, so everything's in a very, very temporary facility kind of setup, as you can imagine. And media centre is in like a, a town hall. There's a football stadium. Let's have a look at that, actually. There's a football stadium next to us that uh, we don't really utilise as part of the facilities, but it's kind of like the I don't want to say ramshackle because that's doing it a disservice but it's the ad hoc nature of things really everybody's on top of each other and it's a really really nice environment in which to be i suppose and the track itself of course is just sensational there's only four corners it's a very very short lap but what it lacks in length it makes up for in drama it is just a wonderful place to go racing and i'm absolutely fascinated to see how our uh, boys and girls in tcr get on and just quickly before we do say goodbye this is another one of the new cars so uh, this is patrick singh the german driver on home soil and what's interesting about this is he's racing the only i30n that we've got in the championship this season so obviously this was a mainstay this car of tcr competition in in every championship really so it's great to see an i30n and it's great to see patrick coming to have a look at what tcr europe competition is all about so we'll be keeping our eye on him as the team as the weekend progresses and see if they can convert a little bit of this home advantage into a good result as the weekend progresses the team look really well sorted the car looks really nice and well put together so i'm sure that they'll be uh, very successful uh, and hopefully we'll see more of them over the course of uh, tci europe 2022 so there we go that's the vlog part one a little bit longer than i expected but there's just so many good things uh, to talk about on such a wonderful place and hopefully we'll try and get to have a look at some of the historic architecture that make up uh, this very very uh, emotional i think is a way to put it venue there's a lot of history not all of it good in fact none of it good actually but there's a lot of history here and uh, it's great to be racing at norris ring it's great to be part of the dtm package once again uh, so there we go that's me for part one signing out ciao ciao